We are joined now by Professor John Obafuwa, who is the Vice Chancellor of Lagos State University. Thank you for coming out this morning. Thank you for having me. Well, it's a hot one, uh, very controversial. The arguments just wouldn't stop. Uh, but what is the latest development about this school fees hike now? Um, as we know, the Lagos State government set up a HALO committee, I mean, another committee to um, look at the issues, uh, the submissions by the students. And um, a report is supposed to be going to the state government today. But having said that, I think we need to put certain things in perspective. When the school fees was going to be increased, it, it was born out of a visitation panel. And we also know that that report, the proposers, was sent to the university. The one by the visitation panel. Right. The university, and I'm talking about the academics themselves, reviewed it and came up with figures. It went through Senate, and I'm talking about academics. So. What figures did they come up with? The figures that eventually went back to government for approval. At the school fees? The school fees. Is it the same thing that's approved now? Same thing. Exact in, same in thing. Other, right. In other words, we cannot completely exonerate the university. And I'm talking about academic style. Okay, just to get this out of the way, I mean, uh, when the visitation panel made the recommendation, did they put any figures? Yes. They put figures they concerning put figures. the school fees that the should school be paid? Fees. That's right. What was the figure they put? The same figure that we have now, um, ranging from about 153,000 to about uh, um, 348,000 naira. But it, by, is it in their place to actually recommend how much school fees should be paid? Because there was an agitation, not just by students alone, but by the staff themselves, in terms of what was being paid. And don't forget, you prior to that, you had the 25,000 thing. You had uh, so many people being within the system. Uh, there was the issue of courtism and all the rest. And of course, if the money is there, people can afford to just stay within the system and not do anything. But having said all that, we know that this thing is about three years old. Um, it was being handled, at least at that time, it was Nobody really bothered about it. And one other thing that emerged, when government was going to approve it, government said that because of the agreement they had with the old students who were there, they would not pay the new fees. It would only apply to those who were just coming in. And we had all sort of uh, discussions with the student union at that time, and the whole thing uh, died a natural death. They agreed to the figures? They agreed to the figures because we did not have any protests beyond what we had late December 2011. Because I came in around November 2011, and that was one of the first issues I had to tackle. Um, and things went on like that. Now, the situation in, in Lasso flared up uh, in January this year. That's apart from the ASU, LASU, well, the national ASU crisis of uh, 2013. Were you on strike when ASU in, at the national level was on strike? Was your institution? ASU, LASU was equally on strike. Was, so there was no tuition going on at that particular point? No tuition. However, the university management, we had to insist on certain things. One, we insisted on conducting the post-UTME exams so that we could have freshers. We insisted on conducting exams for our final year law students so they could go to law school. If we never did that, we would have had by this year a backlog of over 600 students. The reason I, I ask that question is this. So if you look at the fees that the students have been asked to pay, it's comparable to what has been paid in some private universities. I mean, even some private universities will tell you that they also get funding from their uh, from the owners of the institution and they get support. They are also clamoring, some of them are clamoring for 
uh, subvention from the federal government saying that after all taxpayers are the ones who go to these churches anyway. But looking at how much they pay, is it possible to guarantee them, uh, well, I say smooth passage as well uh, through the institution, regardless of whatever might be happening at as in ASU at the national level? Please come again with that question. Is it possible to guarantee? Yes, what? that you know, ASU's activities at the national level will not affect them. Because parents will wonder what will be the value for money. One of the reasons why parents send their children to private universities is that they can guarantee when the students will come out, uh, when their the awards will graduate. If you're going to be paying 300000 uh, about that rate, you know, thereabouts, for your t child's tuition, then at least you should be able to get some form of guarantee that this child should be done in the, the, the duration of time that it should take to study the course. I agree with you. Strictly speaking, a number of people will argue that there was no basis for the ASU Lasu to have gone on strike with the national uh, uh, body. But be that as it may, the, but before I come to that, I was trying to make a point if you don't They're mind. They're currently on strike now and they base it on, on the 2009 agreement that the Lagos State Government says it was going to, you know, uh, sign or implement even though it was signed at the federal level. That's correct. I'll come to that the issue, but I just point. need to, I, I just point. need to uh, clear a few things. There's nothing wrong with people agitating or asking for things. What is probably wrong is the way we go about it. We do not have to be destructive. We do not have to go about it seeking to take anybody's life. I was in the middle of it in January 23. Your life was threatened? That's correct. And it's, it's an experience you don't want to relieve. The protest? The protest. The students' protest. That's correct. Hoodlums came on campus. And they didn't just come alone. And what was it all about? It had to do with the issue of portal for registration. And this was after the university had changed its position several times, about five times. The registration that was supposed to last for two weeks, we ended up with about seven weeks away. Lasso had a culture of people coming in to sit for exams and register for courses after they pass the exams. And we had to stop that. If you are going to come in at the beginning of the session, you should be able to register for the courses you want to take. Sit are, the are exams. We talking, this is another strange, sir. Are we talking about students who are paying such, you know, high school fees, not taking, because one will wonder where that is coming from. Are you saying that even at that you couldn't enforce new rules in spite of the fees they were paying? A number of them complied, but we had some other people who refused to come, including those that were just paying 25000 Was registration tied to the payment of school fees? Oh, yes, because you have to pay your fees, you have to register the programs, the courses you're going to audit and sit for exams. But there was something else the Lagos State Government agreed to do for us, that we should not collect 100% of the school fees at the beginning of this session. That's this increased school fees? Right. Okay. It should, people should just pay 70%, while the remaining 30% will be paid in the second semester. So that's uh, two installments? In two installments. And that was the policy we, were, uh, we adopted. But again, having said all that, if... Sorry, you that, want that was to, for this year. What about the previous same session? Same last year. Okay. Yeah. It's been on. Now, if you want to protest, fine. If you want to argue for anything, there's nothing wrong with it. But like I said, you don't, you don't do certain things. Otherwise, the ultimate effect will be the brand of the university. And that's what concerns me a lot. You don't want to destroy your institution. You don't want to give yourself a bad name. Because when you go out there to seek employment, the average employer is probably going to look at the institution. There are some faculties that might get away with it. I can tell you that medicine will get away with it because last to come.
College of Medicine. It's reputed to be one of the best in the country. If you go to Faculty of Law, you might get away with it because what people will uh, be interested in will be the result from the law school. And that's why we need to be careful about what to do. And I've always said this, not just to the students, but also to the academic staff, that whatever we do, we should bear in mind the repercussion down the line. Okay, and perfect. on a final note, uh, with regards to the, uh, with regards to the uh, review of the school fees at that uh -huh. time, we know that the state government pumps some money into the scholarship board, as well as the bursary. And you had people who, who are enjoying both. So it wasn't as if um, the cushioning effect was not put in place.